needed a new step stool because the other ones I built for her she uses to get in her bed. So I modeled after those and changed a few things up. We just we built our counters too high and my three-year-old can't reach to brush her teeth so this was the solution. I think they turned out great. I'm real happy with the result. They look nice and they work perfect. She can walk right up here, brush her teeth, and be done. This story starts a long time ago with some blue steps. Well, now red steps. You see, these were always around our house growing up. We called them the two steps, and they've had many colors over their lifetime. I wanted some for our house too, so years ago I built some more elegant ones that were stained with oak treads. Now it's time for another set. I have to cut an angle in the back side here, and that's really just so that the entire step when it's pushed up against a cabinet does not um, hit the cabinet. You have less chance of it hitting anywhere except maybe at the bottom. The treads you saw that I'm going to be using, I made from two by fours. Yep, two by fours. To be more precise with the cut, I'm notching out here for the stair right here. I use the miter saw uh, because I find jigsaws to be horribly inaccurate. And I'm just going to finish the cut with a handsaw. I cut the plywood to size, cut a groove in for the step, and sanded the tops that I glued together off camera. Then I used a Forstner bit to drill a couple of holes. Then we'll just take the jigsaw and cut this out and we'll have a handle. I just had to use a flush trim bit to get everything going. My, t my two sides just were not even and the hole didn't look great and still don't look great, but at least now they're even. Then I started to put the fronts on each of the steps. I just glued them in place and shot a couple of brad nails in to hold while the glue was drying. Later I came back and reinforce these with some cleats and screws from the inside of the step. Okay, I have put two coats of this water-based paint on the step tool, and uh, I think I'm just gonna seal it with probably one thin coat of this lacquer. Just to make the paint more durable, this is gonna be in my little girl's room and probably kicked around and kind of moved a good bit. So I think it'll give it a little more lasting power. I didn't film me painting this because, well, it's just painting. I secured the treads to the top by using some wood cleats and just screwing into that. It seems to be holding just fine. So that's it. I like the way the steps turned out. They function great. If you would like to build some of these two steps, you can go to my website. I will have a written tutorial with all of the details of how I went about it. Also, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button. If you do build this, please share it with me. Share your version of what you made, um, either with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm active on both of those. Thanks for watching. The tradition continues. This step will be a staple of my household, lasting far beyond when my own kids are crone.